Tyler has cystinuria. He's knowledgeable about cystinuria and understands that having this rare disease means he is always at risk of forming more cysteine stones in his kidneys. Because of this, he is always looking for early signs of stone formation. As soon as he suspects them, he lets his doctor know. Tyler and his doctor then take steps to decrease the chances of new stone formation. What are the signs that Tyler looks for? One sign is passing gravel, small kidney stones, in his urine. Passing gravel may or may not be painful. They also may be difficult to see in urine. If Tyler suspects he might have them, he urinates through a stone filter that captures the stones. Another sign is flank or lower back pain. Whenever Tyler has pain in the flank or lower back where his kidneys are located, he knows this too may be a sign of stones forming. An additional and important symptom is pain while urinating. This can be a sign of urinary blockage due to a stone or urinary tract infection. If any of these signs appear, Tyler contacts his doctor immediately so they can discuss his symptoms and any potential adjustments to his cystinuria management plan. Tyler also sees his doctor regularly, even when he's feeling fine, because the signs of stone formation may not be noticeable. His doctor will recommend he take a test to help identify early stone formation, such as a 24-hour urine cysteine test to check if his cysteine level is high, or imaging, such as ultrasounds, low-dose CT scans, and x-rays to see if there are any stones in his kidneys or ureter. Tyler understands he will likely form cysteine stones if he doesn't properly manage his cystinuria. Talk to your doctor about things you can do to recognize early cysteine stone formation and help reduce your chances of having further stones. It's important to consult and partner with your doctor and healthcare team to proactively work toward preventing the formation of new cysteine stones.